Right, today's drill is helping golfers strike their irons pure, improve their driver, and making them understand the importance of creating energy. So, you know, you're turning, you're twisting, you're swinging, you're pulling, you're letting go, all these movements, you're putting this energy in, but you've got to get it out at the right time. So how good you are actually at braking governs how good you are often at speeding up or not. And it certainly governs how good you are for lots of golfers at striking the ball. Let me show you this drill. So we see it time and time again on the swing catalyst drill plates here, where I see golfers creating good levels of force. So as in they're pushing and using the ground to get that club moving and trying to hit the ball, but they don't get it out in time to hit the ball. They've often peaking their forces and not getting them out as they hit the ball, as you can see from this example. To use that amount of energy, but not get it onto the ball, it's just a waste. So we need to get that energy out. So that person needs to get the energy that they're creating happening earlier, and then they need the breaks happening, to getting out of that energy way earlier as well. Think of it as this way to make it as simple as possible. If I hit this shot, but I want to use a vertical force, I want to use a jump, I am not going to hit this ball and then jump because this energy didn't get onto that ball, so it had no effect. Obviously, that's taking it to the extreme. It's ridiculously late, but we see golfers being that late or nearly that late in their shots, like that example. So how can we change that? Grab a medium iron. You need one hand and a human being, preferably you. What you're going to do is you're going to hold onto the club with trail hand and hold onto the club with your trail hand where it goes on the club. So don't hold at the top of the club with trail hand, hold down the handle. Take your setup position with your lead hand, just pop it down onto your lead fire. I am just like an inch above my kneecap with my hand. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to do some demo impact positions where you pull this hand up. So pull it up to your pocket from that knee, really whip it up, let the knee straighten, let the right knee kick in, let your hips turn. And at the same time, let your hand will get a little bit higher and a little bit forward. So you'll feel this little bit of angle in the back of trail hand. This drill is you practicing slamming on the brakes as quick as you can. Now, I'm doing it down here by the ball. So I'm feeling like it's happening down there, but I'm actually gonna do this movement here, basically as early as I can. I'm almost gonna start doing it here. So as the club is still going back, believe it or not, I'm gonna start, because my hand would be lower, to start pulling this up as that completes in my head. That's the sequencing. And the trick for you is working out how early you need to do it because we're all different. Some of us are really quick at reacting. Some of us are really slow. Some of us can really trigger thoughts in on backswing and downswing and not on backswing, not on downswing, whatever it is, whatever the mix is. But we need to get the feeling of this drill. So really pull in that hand up your thigh as your lead leg straightens up and your right knee kicks in. And if we can get that onto shots, what you're going to find is the energies I create, I'm going to get them out before and onto the shot and not waste my jump or my bump or my twist. Because lots of us know there should be a bump. Lots of us know there should be rotations, there's tilts. Lots of us know there's vertical, there's a jump. But making them happen at the right time and then slowing down at the right time so we get that energy onto the ball. It's key for you maximizing what you put in. And believe me, lots of you watching now, you go to club fits maybe, and you look at the new clubs because you're trying to maximize, you know, there's new tech and you want help, all those kind of things. And there are some answers in that, but they're small. Most students who come to me for lessons and students I see from talking to other coaches all around the world, huge percentage in the 90s, come, put lots of energy in, don't get hardly any of it what they should be getting onto that ball and they're just leaking distance. And then in turn, accuracy as well. Same idea with driver, trail hand, same position. I'm gonna really try and feel like I'm pulling out. I'm gonna work that into a drive. Obviously the nuances of doing it with a driver are slightly different. And there's other things that you might need to do to set this up. But getting those forces out with the driver is the same idea, it needs to happen. But if you wanna learn a few more of the nuances with this club, this video's got all the answers working this in.